Hello everyone, this is Riya Thakkar, Public Relations Officer of CSI KJSI IT Chapter. CSI has come up with IGTV tutorials for all of you. This week I'll be teaching how to build a chatbot using Watson Assistant and Notepad. This is the third part of the tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, each one of you will be able to build your own chatbot. Follow CSI to watch all the parts of the series and stay tuned for more. So in the last two parts of this tutorial, we saw how to uh, build our Watson assist, uh, our chatbot using Watson Assistant and webhooks. Now we will deploy it using more So uh, here you search Node-RED app and then uh, you can use it app URL. Then you will land on something called Node-RED flow editor where they will ask you uh, ID password to log in and then you will land on these flows. So I have created some sample flows. This is a sample flow for uh, how to integrate Watson Assistant with Telegram bot. This is an alternate version of that and that's it. So I will create a new flow in front of you to explain you how basically uh, all of this works, like how Node-RED works. Before getting started, just visit here in the Manage palette and install Node-RED dashboard because it contains all the nodes we'll be using today. Uh, this Node Red dashboard is already installed uh, in my app, but you'll have to install again. Uh, so, here let me uh, explain you how uh, we will inject and debug also the form node works. Okay, so uh, an inject node is you can give it any kind of uh, payload we want as a string and then give it a name hello or a sample done and then this is the payload basically will give you your output so let's do this right now let's delete this We'll connect these two. So these are small bubbles kind of thing which can be used to uh, connect two nodes together. So we'll deploy our uh, flow from here and click on the deploy button and here we'll inject a hello. So you can see that uh, this hello is given as an output. Now we see the form node. So there is this uh, triangular uh, shape symbol, the red one, showing on top of this form node. It's because it appears when the node is not properly configured. So we configure our node properly first. I have already given it a few UI group names. Uh, but I will show you how it's done. So I am giving the name tab name tab name only so that we don't get confused. And group name is name group name. So you will see something like this here. And then we will enter the input. We'll always take the input in text format and that's it. So now we'll see the triangle has gone which is the form node has been properly configured. One important thing to remember is that you can see here I use five flows but uh, all of these other four, three, other four are disabled. So you can Enable a flow like this or you can disable it. Make sure at one time only one flow is enabled or disabled. Otherwise your user interface is going to uh, anchor an error. 
um, what the user interface is, I'll show you later. Let's just see this first. Uh, so this is my flow uh, for uh, integrating our Watson Assistant. I'll redesign the entire flow and show it to you how it works. So this is our form node. Now we'll add to function so that we can uh, take inputs and we can parse our uh, outputs as well. Okay, this I'll show you later. Uh, first, let, let's add the assistant one. And two text nodes. One is for uh, accepting the user's request, and the other is for giving the bots response. So one will act as an input, and the other one will act as an output node, obviously. Uh, so what we'll do is So we we'll connect this function uh, acting as an input function between the assistant and the form and uh, the user text. And this function will act as a parsing function between the uh, text provided by the bot given by the assistant. So now let's edit our function. It's message dot hello equals to message dot hello dot text. The uh, reason for ending for this ending with the text thing is because uh, we have taken as input here in the text type. So label this as you. I prefer this layout, so I'll choose this one. Okay, this is the most important part. Please look carefully. Your uh, the workspace ID is where you will be going to your skills tab. Okay, uh, so take any skill. I'll just take the standard one, my four skill. You can use our weather bot skill as well. So you will view the API details, the skill ID. Copy the skill ID and paste it in the place of workspace ID. Now for Watson API key and service endpoint, search Watson Assistant here. And before launching the Watson Assistant, we land on this page. Here the API key, copy the API key and paste it in place of API key and copy the URL and paste and paste it in place of service endpoint. Make sure everything is proper once again. Okay, now this uh, function is used for parsing the text. I think everything is perfect. We can deploy our uh, flow. Yeah, but make sure you disable the previous flow again. So
now uh, you will copy this URL up to dot net. Don't you don't copy the part after dot net. Just copy it up to dot net and add slash UI after that and paste down your search engine. After we've deployed our uh, flow, you can see here this message dot payload object. This is your output and here you can see under the output section text hello how can I help you so this is the response we added in the chatbot so now let's copy this URL and check if our UI is working okay so you land on this page this is your chatbot you enter hi and it's going to ask you hello how can I help so uh, it's working perfectly all right so this is about Node-RED. Uh, you can also change the layout. I'll show you how to change the layout. So you can change the layout from here. Okay. Uh, in case there is a blank page occurring when you uh, deploy your uh, flow and then you know copy paste this URL, then the reason is that your chatbot will have a disturb flow as in it might it might be form bot you or you bot form or something like that then in that case you can change your uh, flow like this it always has to be form you bot and then you can deploy and run again and then you see it's going to appear so you can change your themes and layout from here you can change the layout by clicking on tab name and then you get something like a pen symbol name uh, right next to layout. Here from here you can change the width and uh, whatever changes you want to make you can do that. Similarly you can change the color from here and choose whatever you like. All of these functions you can also change the date format and the widget size and spacing group padding everything you may or may not choose to show the title bar and time and all so it totally depends upon you you can make all the required changes deploy your bot again and then just run it so that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope all of you learned how to make this chatbot I recommend um, this is our final product I recommend each and every one of you to try it as soon as possible and uh, after making this weather chatbot you can also try making something like a COVID-19 chatbot which I had also made and it was really interesting so do let us know how you liked our tutorial and uh, you can also post any new tutorial ideas in the comment section and let us know what you want to know next.